What is actually going on here? farming. sped up and I for sure would have hit him. Would have tenderized that beef pretty good. If you do hit a tree or a power pole or a cow by accident or on purpose, these booms, um, they break away like they're on a spring so the boom will just break away that way and then you can keep driving. So it's just like a safety, a safety thing. And then if you really get in deep caca, um, there's a boom breakaway button. So then the booms will break away at this point, closer to the mainframe. And that's when you're really in trouble. And then the nozzles are on the back side of the boom just to protect it from foreign objects like trees and power poles and cattle. this over here that's all ours so hopefully they don't wander into that any farther than they already are Done my spraying for the day, getting ready to fill the drill. Tonight's activities, night shift. That I'm going to seed this field at night. Um, it's 10, 10 p.m. right now. Um, it's pretty much crunch time for seeding. Not the, not the best field to do at night. Um, I've been on this field for about 15 minutes and I am already lost. I'll show you the, I'll show you my map. It's, I'll tell you what I'm working with here. I tried to zoom my map out to show how much of a maze this field is, but I can't figure it out. So you're just gonna have to take my word for it. Um, I'm just still doing the headlands right now. There's not much of this field where you can use an AB line. Just kind of the last 40 acres at the north end. So the main goal is to finish this quarter. Hopefully not run out of fertilizer or seed. I think I did my calculations right. I should have enough for all of this. And don't get stuck. And don't break down. 
Don't break down with the cedar or emotionally. Wish me luck. I'm going late tonight because I'm trying to beat the rain. They're calling for showers at about 2 in the morning. And it is already starting to sprinkle. And it is only not even 11 o'clock. Huh. This is all seated. Where am I? Stop draining. So this is kind of what I'm going through right now. pretzel right now. A lot of little bushes on this field. You have to go around and then you get mixed up on which one's which. pass around the whole field and I'm working I'm working from south to north and this little speckle right there is where I gotta get to almost out of canola I made a special call to my brother to bring, to bring me five bags, so I gotta throw those in. Twelve passes left, or I'm on past twelve. I don't really know. Wayne Glensky, Wayne Glensky. We have fifty six hundred acres seated. Just finishing up this field while well, I'm working on it. But we got the rest of this field and two more quarters of canola and then uh, three quarters of barley to seed. So we'll be just over 6,000 when we're finished. So a few more days. I'm calling for showers overnight and tomorrow, so might sit tomorrow, but. Not too much longer. Two oh eight. I have from there to that green left, probably like. 30 acres ish. Uh, what's the over under? I'm back in the yard at 3:30 a.m. I gotta take the under. I'm taking the under. Yeah, I'm, I'm going for it. I'm hammering the under. Let's see how it plays out. I 
car got stuck in that little wet spot uh, two years ago. Can't really see, but I'm gonna stay out of there. Does OV break Gretzky's record? Take the over. That's a danger zone. Now I'm going along my pass along the road. Oh boy, this is gonna be a mess in the daylight. I can't wait till this comes up. I got like two and a half passes left. If I run out of canola, I am going to have a mental breakdown. Last pass. I'm gonna make it, I'm gonna have enough canola. I don't know if I'm gonna make my, uh, under my 3, 3.30 uh, timeline, unless I fold up in like seven seconds. Dunzo. I don't think I'm gonna fold up and make it back to the yard in 10 minutes, but we'll see. in the yard. Official time. 3.34. I know. Should, should have taken the over. Should have taken the over. I was optimistic. I was optimistic. <sighs> anyway, I'm parking this rig and uh, I'm going to bed. So, Peace and love.